Okay, let us proceed now for the heat capacity. Definition of heat. Heat is a form of energy associated with the kinetic random motion of large number of molecules. While the specific heat, the symbol for the heat is capital Q. Okay. Heat, capital. Okay, heat can also be positive or negative. When you say positive, that is heat added. And if the value of the heat is negative, that is heat rejected. A, the formula for the heat is equal to mc delta t, where m is mass, c is the specific heat, delta t is the change in temperature. For the specific heat, you have the specific heat, which is your C. When you say specific heat, it is the amount of heat per unit mass required to raise the temperature temperature by one degree Celsius. Okay, we have different type of uh, heat, number one, or types of heat, number one, we have the sensible heat. When you say sensible heat, it is the heat needed to change the temperature of the body without changing its pace. Number two, uh, under the sensible heat, we have the specific heat of water, the constant value for the specific heat of water, which is 1.0 calories per gram mass degree per gram, ma per gram mass degree Celsius or 1.0 BTU per pound mass degree Fahrenheit or 4.186 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Okay, then we have another type which is the latent heat. When you say latent heat, it is the heat needed by the body to change its, uh, its pace without changing its temperature. Under the latent heat, we have the latent heat of fuse, uh, fusion. Latent heat of fusion. That is solid to liquid. Letter B, latent. 
heat of vaporization. Liquid, liquid to gas. Okay, melting of ice at zero degree Celsius, we can say that the heat for the latent is equal to positive negative mass times the latent heat. Okay. Uh, when you say positive, that is heat entering, negative heat leaving. Here, for the sensible heat, we have Q, uh, sensible heat, QS is equal to M. C delta T. Okay. Therefore, this one, uh, QL is the heat needed, M is the mass, L is the latent heat of fusion or vaporization. Positive heat entering, negative heat leaving. Okay, substance freezes. Here, substance melt. Substance melt. While in leaving, substance freezes. A example. A example number one. How many BTU? are removed in cooling each of the following from 210 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Letter A, 1.5 pound water. Letter B, 2 point pounds. Letter specific heat is equal to 0 0.36 for the letter, 0 0.36 calories gram per degree Celsius. And letter C, 3.5 uh, pound asbestos. Specific heat of asbestos is equal to 0 0.20 calories gram per degree Celsius. Now for the solution for letter A, we have the heat is equal to mc delta T, where m is 1.5 pounds times the specific heat of the water, which is 1.0 calories per gram mass degree Celsius. Change in temperature from uh, 210 
minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit. We have to convert this first. No need for the conversion. Instead, we're going to change your calories gram per degree Celsius. We're going to use the constant value of your uh, water into BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. The unit should be in BTU since the given are all under the English unit. Okay, therefore, we have one BTU per pound pound degree Fahrenheit. Then we have 210 minus 65. Okay, therefore, we have Q is equal to 217.5 uh, BTU. Cancel pound, pound mass, then degree Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit. Therefore, we have BTU. This one is for letter A. Now, for letter B, again, the formula Q is equal to M C delta T. Again, your mass is 2.4 D uh, leather. We have 2.5 pounds times 1.0. Uh -huh. No, we have the constant value for the leather, specific heat of the leather, which is 0 0.36 two point five pounds. This one is in BTU. Correction. Ah. Still, if the given is in point, uh, point 0.36 calories gram per degree Celsius, the same pa rin ng value ng in VTU. Kasi we have the constant value of your VTU. We have one, calo uh, one, one calories per gram degree Celsius is the same as one VTU per pound mass, uh, pound mass degree Fahrenheit. Okay. And so your the given since the given is 0.36 calories gram per degree Celsius, the same as 0.36 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. And then the temperature is 210 minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Cancel. Cancel pounds, pounds. Okay. Q is equal to. Okay. Therefore, the heat for the leather, heat for the leather, this one heat for the water, which for the leather is equal to 130.5 BTU. Okay, for letter C, <clears throat> for letter C, we have a uh, Q of asbestos is equal to M C delta T with a given mass of uh, 3.5 and 0.2. 3.5. 3.5 pounds times 0.2 BTU per pound the uh, pound mass degree Fahrenheit. Okay, multiply by the temperature of 210 minus 65. 210 minus 65 degree Fahrenheit. Equal now to equivalent to 101.5 BT heat of asbestos. Okay. 
Okay, number two example. An electric heater supplies one point nine kilowatt of power in the form of heat. to a tank of water how long will it take to heat the 205 kilogram of water in the tank from 10 to 70 degrees Celsius. Assume heat losses To the surrounding to be negligible. Hmm. <clears throat> A solution a solution we have heat added heat added is 1.9 watt heat added is equal to 1.9 kilowatt. Remember that watt is joule per second. Therefore, this one is 1.9 kilojoule per second. Then we have Since the given is in power, therefore the heat added, multiply it by the time. Okay, kilowatt times T, okay, which is equal to 1.9, multiply by the time. Then we have the heat absorb, which is equal to M C delta T. Okay. This one is in Kelvin correction. In Kelvin. Ten to seventy Kelvin. Okay. Therefore, we have the mass. 205 kilogram. The specific heat is 4.186 kilojoule per kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Then the change in temperature is 70 minus 10. Kelvin. And therefore, cancel Kelvin, kilogram, kilogram. Okay, therefore, this one is equal to 5.15 uh, 5 times 10 to the fourth 
kilojoule. Uh, joule. Uh, wait, this one is in kilo. Kilojoule because of this one. Kilojoule. Okay, equating the heat, we have Q added. Added is equal to Q absorbed. Therefore, we have 1.9 kilojoule per second multiplied by the time is equal to 5.15 times 10 to the fourth kilojoule. Okay, therefore, the time is equal to 515 times 10 to the fourth kilojoule over uh, 1.9 kilojoule per second. Therefore, the time is equal to uh, 27,098.84 seconds. Or in R, uh, 1R is equal to 3,600 seconds. Conversion, 1R equivalent to 3,600 seconds. Therefore, the time is 7.53 hours. Number 3. Number three example. Or number three. What will be the final temperature if fifty five grams of water? at zero degrees Celsius is added to 275 grams of water at 90 degrees Celsius. Okay. Remember that we have heat loss is equal to heat gain. And we assume no heat transfer to or from container. Therefore, we have 55 grams. Okay, the mass of the water, 55 grams, and the specific heat of the water is 1.0 calories per gram degree Celsius. And then temperature, change the temperature, T minus 0 degrees Celsius, the unknown temperature, that is the final temperature, equal to 250, uh, 275. 275 grams. Mass, maybe this one 275 grams times 1.0, a uh, specific heat of water, calories per gram degree Celsius. Then the change in temperature, that is my 90 minus degree Celsius minus the final temperature. Okay. Look for the value of the Okay, using the equation, 55, 55 times 1 times T, distribute this one to this, okay, minus 0 is equal to 275 times 1, multiply by 90, minus 275 times 1 multiply by t. Transpose 275 to the left, uh, to the 
left side, we have 55 times T plus 275 times T equal to, since this one is 0, 275 times 90. Okay, getting the value of your T, we have... Okay, we have 55 plus 275, that is 330 T, which is equal to 24,750. Okay, where T now is equal to 24,750 divided by 330. Where T now is equal to 75 uh, degree Celsius. Okay, number four, example number four. How much water at zero degrees Celsius is needed to cool 520 grams of water at 83 degrees Celsius down to 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, again, heat loss is equal to heat gain. Okay, since both are water, we can cancel thus. Uh, remember that the heat loss is MC delta T, which is for the loss. MC delta T for the gain. Since both are water, we can cancel now the specific heat. Therefore, we have uh, 500. Okay. The mass for the first 520 grams times uh, 83 minus 23. Okay, then equal to the unknown mass times uh, 23 minus 0 is 23 for the temperature. Using this equation, we can say that the mass is equal to 520 times 83 minus 23 over 23. Mass is equal to 1,356 point. 52 grams.